So, oil industry without oil. Is it possible? Does it make money? And how is it done? In order to find out, we need a rather big city, cause small is boring, and it's basically just your typical grid structure city with some added roundabouts. Built to be easily expandable. And within minutes, we have a big boy grid. Some basic zoning is put down without much time spent on the ratios, and of course, this will be balanced later on instead. Highways are added around the city with entrances and exits to relieve some of the internal traffic. In order to bring goods and people into the city, we add two airports, one for goods and one for humans. Connected up with a big roundabout that will also house some services and monuments for an easy city. Basic services like power, sewage and water is added and all we gotta do now is sit back, relax and let the city grow. In order to help people get around in the city, we added a metro system, connected up to a metro hub. The metro hub helps decrease the length of the longest routes that would otherwise be in the city. Also, most importantly, they look freaking awesome, with all the people walking around in the same place. Increased happiness and overall land value is also on the list of improvements. Now that we have a happy clappy city growing in the background, we can develop our oil industry without oil. Grid style plot with dual highway entrances and exits for improved capacities. Completely filled with waste oil refinement plants for maximum profit per meter squared. Made into an easily expandable unit. Plotted out in a big line for easier traffic management. Metro hub is easily connected and so we can start working on adding the outside connections for importing and exporting oil related goods. Connecting up the first few industrial plots to the system, I instantly realized that we do need to increase the overall cargo capacity for outside connections. We have now started making our first thousands and the next step now is to improve the capacity. I first began by adding a highway connection to and from the city. This is to decrease the amount of glitching services that for some reason try to reach the other side of the map. After that I began the expansion, more highways, train tracks, stations and micromanagement. We have finally started making some money, 300k a week, 
but we still have a lot of improvements to make. As we can see here following this truck, it is heading for the cargo airport on the other side of the city. This is not a good thing, it adds a lot of extra strain on the infrastructure, as well as an added delay on the delivery of goods. Instead of moving the cargo airport, I just added a bunch more closer to the industries. Now this actually turned out to be a great success, and it improved the overall cargo capacity by a lot. And here we are making our first million. As we can see the cost of maintaining this oil industry is not small. With an upkeep of almost 700k a week, it can go south rather quickly if something here were to go wrong. Income kept climbing for a bit and we peaked at around 1.5 million a week. Which is just really good and amazing, but I think we can do better, so let's give it a go. So, how is the city actually performing? Let's have a look. Only public transportation in use is the metro with around 4k users and it's pretty safe to say that the game doesn't really transport its humans to the workplace. They mostly teleport there. However, the metro is mainly used to get to the commercial zones. Residential happiness is great at around 100% and commercial is sitting just below it at 81%. Now commercial zoning is pretty hard to get up there, but I guess 80% is it's pretty okay. The overall big numbers here on the happiness doesn't really come as a surprise since we're using a lot of monuments. Crime rate is chilling at around 3% with plenty of room left in our jails. File safety looking great in the city, but still sits around 24% when looking at the overall map. This is probably due to a lot of smaller buildings near edges and in weird places bumping up that number to the 24%. Overall the city doesn't really have any issues with fire safety, so I don't really care about fixing that 24%. As we can see, and as we promised, no natural resources are in use. Everything is imported and nothing is locally gathered. Population sitting at around 145k with plenty of jobs for everyone. 2% unemployment rate is mostly due to the excess amounts of jobs, this will probably even out the more the city gets to grow and fill out every part of the zoned areas. It's still great to see that most of the people living here has a place to work though. Noise pollution is as expected, total chaos with unbearable sound levels. It is a little bit better around the living areas but overall it's a complete mess. And I'm not gonna go through all the expenses of the city cause it's quite boring and just pretty basic. But here you can pause and see all the expenses of the city if you're interested. And here we have our oil industry. 99.3% of all the income in the city comes from this place here. With over 3 million of goods being exported each week, I think it's safe to say that this is a new record for me. Total profit of the oil industry is sitting at around 2.2 million a week and taking all other expenses into account the total income of the city it's just at around 1.5 to 2 million a week. It fluctuates a little bit, but overall, it's getting up there. Putting in a couple more hours into micromanagement and doing some minor fixes to the traffic flow of the city, I finally managed to bump up the income a tad bit more. Or to be precise, one more million. We seem to stabilize at around 2 million a week and peak at around 2.5 million which is pretty crazy if you ask me. So to answer the question, can you do oil industry without oil? Well, yes you can. This has been Prost and I hope you have enjoyed the video. I put a lot of time into making videos since it's something that I love doing. I want to give a big thanks to all my Patreon supporters who directly support the creation of these videos. Hovart Carlson, Dragon and voila, thank you for your support, it really means a lot. Now, if you want to download the save slash map for yourself, you can find download links to everything in my Discord channel. Under the tab Prost Gaming Info you can find everything you need and the link is in the description. Feel free to subscribe, like or leave a comment letting me know what you think. But as always I hope you're all having an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>